varsity men are one step closer to capturing the number one seed after surviving on the road at Army on Wednesday, while the Navy women missed out on a chance to clinch the top spot, falling to American in Washington, D.C. Hey everyone, I'm Melanie Plowski and welcome to Patriot League Roundup. Not many seeds are locked up in both the men's and women's bracket and it will come down to the final day of the regular season on Saturday. On the men's side, Boston U sits at the top at 14 and 3, followed closely by American at 13 and 4. Boston U needed a second half comeback to stay ahead by one game as Army rolled out to a 33-23 halftime lead. Coach Joe Jones knew his team had to refocus in order to come back. It's game number 30, so hopefully by now they're, they're ready to go. You know, we had we didn't play well for that 20 minutes. Hopefully we're ready and we're focused and play better in the next half. The halftime speech didn't work initially as Kyle Wilson's three helped Army hold an 11-point advantage with more than 13 minutes left. But John Papali bookended a 19-7 run with two of his five three-pointers, giving Boston U a 54-53 lead with 8.24 left. The Terriers hit several free throws down the stretch to stay in front, but a crucial five-second violation gave Army one last shot, and Josh Herbeck's jumper in the paint left his hand after time ran out, giving Boston U the 71-70 win. I spoke with John Papali after the game about the big win. We just wanted to play hard, you know, we had a tough loss Sunday and, uh, you know, we just Monday in practice, we really went at it and we came out flat in the first half. So we just we want to play, we practice on Monday and I think we did a good job in the second half. American and Navy went back and forth for nearly 35 minutes before the Eagles pulled away thanks to a deep three-pointer by Jesse Reed that made it 54-48 with 3.07 left. And John Shove hit back-to-back -back triples to seal the 64-55 win. Holy Cross locked up the number three seed in the tournament, pulling away in the second half at Loyola, using a 23-8 run to lock down a 65-52 win. Malcolm Miller led Holy Cross with 20 points. Bucknell picked up its fifth straight win, clinching the number four seed in a nail-biter against Lehigh. Steven Casper helped the Bison pull away with an acrobatic spinnerama layup in the second half. But trailing by just three, Lehigh turned the ball over and Cameron Ayers sealed the 65-61 win from the free throw line. Colgate came out on fire and never looked back as Murphy Bernatowski scored a game-high 25 points in an 83-66 win over Lafayette. Both teams have the chance to clinch a first-round home game on Saturday. American narrowed the gap in the standings and opened the door for the Army Black Knights to swoop in and take the number one spot from the mids, just like they did last season. Navy needs just one win to clinch the top seed. Behind 20 points from Aaron Zimmerman and 11 from Alexis Dobbs, the American Eagles led at halftime and pulled away in the second half for a 63-50 win over Navy on Wednesday. American can lock into the number two seed with a win and an Army loss. Jen Hazlett scored 21 points and pulled down 16 rebounds to lead Army in a rout of Boston U. The Terriers tied the game at 22 late in the first half, but Army went on a 24-7 run to take control in the 75-48 win. Audrey Dotson scored a team-high 19 points and Shelby Romine had 18 as Bucknell secured the number four seed with an 87-78 win at Lehigh. Bucknell will host number five seeded Holy Cross on March 6th in the Patriot League quarterfinals. Holy Cross locked up the five spot with a 59-49 win over Loyola, running out to a 32-16 halftime lead and never looking back. Bree Malone scored 18 points and Alex Smith added 15. Lafayette also secured a first round bye Wednesday as Emily Homan scored 17 points and had nine rebounds to lead the Leopards to an 81-70 win over Colgate. Nine of the ten games on Saturday will be on the Patriot League Network, while the men's game between Bucknell and American will be on CBS Sports Network. Five men's lacrosse games will also be on the Patriot League Network this weekend, including a big matchup between number seven Loyola and number 14 Lehigh in Bethlehem. Loyola has won three straight games since an opening season loss to now number four Virginia. The Greyhounds won their first Patriot League game last weekend on the road at Holy Cross, potting 16 goals, including six from Nico Pontrello, who leads the team with 15. But the leader of the offense is Justin Ward, who has a league-best 11 assists. But it all starts with Justin. Justin's the quarterback for our team. He gets guys to the right spots. He makes decisions down there. He calls out our offenses. So, uh, so we're going to lean on him uh, heavily in his senior year this year. 
Lehigh has never beaten Loyola in seven tries, but their last matchup was in 1998, and the Mountain Hawks have completely turned things around in the last couple of years behind head coach Kevin Cassis. The two-time defending champs are 4-0 heading into the game, led by Patrick Corbett's nine goals. The game will face off at noon, and it can be seen live for free at PatriotLeague.tv. And for full post-game interviews and highlights, tune in to next week's Patriot League Roundup. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Plowski.